downward facing dog or Addo Mukha Svanasana. Do lift sit bones up towards the ceiling, position head between the arms, ensure ears are parallel to upper arms, keep elbows straight, palms flat on the floor, fingers facing forward, push heels towards the floor and bend knees slightly if needed. Avoid sinking shoulders into armpits or bringing up to ears, rounding the spine, balancing on the toes, not having hands shoulder width apart, lifting the head and having shoulders above the wrists. Mountain pose or Tadasana. Do make sure your abdominal muscles are engaged. Your weight is evenly spread across the feet. The neck is lengthened, the tailbone is tucked in and your palms are facing outwards along with widening the collarbones to ensure that your shoulders are parallel to the pelvis. Avoid leaning forward, rounding the shoulders, bending the knees, not spreading your weight evenly across the feet, slumping the spine and having limp arms. Hero pose or Virasana. Do make sure feet are flat on the floor. Place a block or blanket under the buttocks for support if needed. Keep the spine upright and keep the ankles near the hip. Avoid the buttocks not being in contact with the floor or on a prop, rounding the spine and overstretching the knees. Tree pose or Vruxasana. Do ensure that the spine is upright and the bent knee is pointing out to the side at 90 degrees. Use a wall to help with balance if needed. Ensure your pelvis is neutral and press the sole of the standing foot into the floor whilst remaining upright. Avoid pointing the bent knee forwards, jutting the hip out to the side, leaning forwards, having unstable and weak arms and also placing the foot on the knee.